What's up guys? Fahan here with Zah once again and today we have again Abang Sayud. How are you? Fine, thank you. And yourself? <laughs> Razi. Razi. Yeah. How are you Razi? Fine. So Razi is uh, actual postman lah. <laughs> <laughs> Abang Sayud is their in charge. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> so, postman. Uh, uh, promoted then up promoted. <laughs> ah, okay. So now we are going to you know, interview them and they are going to share with us what is it like, you know, to be a postman? First of all, I just want to congratulate SingPost. Mm-hmm. 165 anniversary this year. Wow. Woo! <laughs> 165 years. Yeah, uh, 165 like, years. Wow, older than Singapore. It's from the British colonial times. Uh. So, how long have you guys with, been with SingPost? Uh? I've been with SingPost for 40 years. Wow, 40 years. Wow. Oh, from before you <laughs> get married until you... <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah, first postman, I uh, cycling. Uh, I use bicycle oh. until I uh, quite two times, uh, 15 years, I cross promoted. Uh, wow. Oh, IP, uh. hey. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> so last time, police, uh, policeman. Last time, postman wear shorts. Uh? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember I wear uh, uniform, uh, uh, green color. Green oh. color, yeah. <laughs> and the bike is a uh, Vespa, it's a uh, yellow color. And yeah. for yourself? Saya daripada 2018. Uh, tapi berhenti masa hmm. pandemik oh. Berhenti sekejap Lepas tu sambung balik September last year Oh, oh. So kira kan Dekat 5 tahun lah uh. Kalau kira tak tak ada tak pandemic. kerana pandemik yeah. Dah 5 tahun lah kerja uh. oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, Lama juga tu So you, so usually uh, guys uh, Postman uh, The imagery ya. Uh, <laughs> It's like, <laughs> it's like the greeting is pachi-pachi, right bicycle, right bicycle, old man, right bicycle. But you got young blood here, no? Uh, but but I think being a postman, you really need the energy, you know, because mm. you see, uh, every every time I see the my postman ah uh, deliver mail to my block ah, uh, wow, fast, no? Am I like, wow? How can he like? Even for me, I want to read. Okay, this one go. Oh. <laughs> is that is that is that a skill? <laughs> No, at first is uh, yeah, as as you said lah. At first we got to read the address one uh-huh. by one. First by the block, mm-hmm. then the street name, then by unit number. Mm-hmm. So especially like number two, second floor or uh, sixth floor and eighth floor and number nine mm-hmm. is quite similar lah. Uh-huh. So if you sort very fast, so it's uh, confirmed so wrongly lah. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. make sure that you read uh, the numbers before you put in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Over time, you develop the speed lah. Correct. Oh, mm-hmm. okay, understand, understand. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, how many units does a postman deliver every day? Untuk satu orang postman, 2,500 units. So, how many blocks? Depend lah. Kadang sikit block, kadang 20 block dah cukup 2,500. Wow. Oh. Kadang wow. 30 block baru cukup. Ha, macam wow, tanya. okay. <laughs> 30 blocks, 20 to 30 blocks. Per day. Per day, you oh know. My gosh. I want to walk to the market just across the street also very tiring. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine uh, postman's daily routine. Uh, so you really need the young blood to do this work. Mm, yeah, lah. mm-hmm. you to get on the bike, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Like, salute ah, salute, ah, salute guys. Ah, respect ah, respect ah. So what's a typical day for a postman like? Kita pagi akan datang tujuh setengah kita akan prepare barang uh, untuk sort by area. Kita akan sort surat, register artikel, bulky item, lepas siap baru kita load dan keluar lah. So like that, how many hours uh, a day you guys usually do work? Six, seven hours. And then what what happen if you cannot finish your delivery for that day? Okay, if they can't finish the they will inform IP. Uh-huh. In charge of them lah. So IP will call a few postmen. Hmm. Which come back early. Normally they come back a few come back early lah. So we will ask his postman to continue. Whatever he cannot finish up. They can make a bit late lah. Maybe around six or seven. Then until they finish up their letters, then the things done, then okay. Oh, uh, so they normally we never keep letters. Ah, ah I see. I, I thought you cannot finish today. You keep in the store. Then uh-huh. tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> you continue. <laughs> oh, so you, yeah. That day everything must be delivered. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, understand, understand. Understand. Yeah. So let's say if there's something happen ah, on the road, like motorcycle breakdown, you know, yeah. then what happen? The same thing. We will inform IP. Mm-hmm. Any any accident or any breakdown, mm-hmm. yeah, the port, we are already brief the postman. Ah, mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, must inform IP mm-hmm. first. If they cannot reach IP, we got one other one. It's called the DBM, mm-hmm. Delivery Base Manager. So this manager will inform the IP 
I feel will inform the postman hmm. then we will then the, then the postman lah. will intercept the guard, the person and then, ah. the, and then the mail ah. they will take lah correct so whatever that uh, the 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 person's mail then uh, the postman will consider working overtime lah yeah ah. working overtime <laughs> lah they, they divided the things to like hmm. let's say they left half of the portion like mm-hmm. from block 1 to 5 maybe okay then from 6 to 10 unfinished mm-hmm. so this this the block that we concentrate lah mm-hmm. to finish until the letters finish ah up. i see yeah. okay understand understand so the postman need special training or when you are riding the postal motorcycle how long is the training that they provide okay the training is 4 uh, days for oh, 4 days okay 3 mm-hmm. days indoor they learn from basic from uh, how to sort letters uh, how to uh, write moto how to arrange letters hmm. uh, where to go which area are they going if let's say the postman will to be uh, stationed at pasiris hmm. so this postman uh, what what they will tell that okay this pasiris got how many blocks uh, which uh, which uh, maybe got a condominium hmm. mixture of landed property hmm. so they know roughly okay this area that you are going to to do lah mm-hmm. so after the three days uh, indoor then one day they need to learn how to ride motorcycle from morning until afternoon lah. so i think you told us that is conducted at uh, comfort eh? yeah i comfort they go so as you guys know uh, right now uh, everything is all digital lah it's like you can even e statement uh, e statement uh, yeah, all digital already so do you think that postal services are still relevant in today's age yeah i think it's still relevant also mm. we still some some letters need to be sent like the water bill example we need to send every month and not forgetting whatever you e-commerce e-shopping on <laughs> alibaba yeah, shopee, lah, shopee. aliexpress yeah. or shopee uh, yeah. that one also need the postman uh, to send uh, for you yeah, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys uh, because i also run the shopee store <laughs> <laughs> so the shopee store then thanks to you guys for delivering yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. when i was a teenager uh, yeah right when i was young <laughs> not so old already I you I I still remember I I used to enjoy writing uh, mail to my pen pal you know oh really pen pal. Uh, you got pen pal ah? yeah lah you don't know you never try pen pal before never, eh? I don't know what's pen pal <laughs> so anyway for those younger generation the pen pal is a friend that you get to know from any magazine or from the teletext then you know you write the address apa sebab aku tahu teletext ah zaman dulu sih. Oh, okay. okay. So you get to know the friend, uh, get the address, then you write to them, get to know them. You know, you make friends that way. Uh, hmm. That is called a pen pal lah for those young gen- younger generations who have not uh, made any friends before. It's something like Facebook, but you have to write. <laughs> okay. So uh, I used to enjoy uh, writing letters to my pen pal. You know, and then every day I wait. You know, for a mail to come in. You know. You see this, this it, it is so exciting to have a mail delivered to you. Eh, my friend reply to me then I uh, you know read. Of course uh, my friend girls. <laughs> some may work, some may not, but it is this the enjoyment of it. Uh. So I really appreciate having uh, mails back in the days. From time to time, uh, uh. the kind of mail I get now, this is all bill, boring. <laughs> uh, Adults, adult mail, either advertisement or bill. Uh, please don't send that to my house. Uh. <laughs> yeah, what's the most memorable moment you know while delivering? Maybe both of you can share. Eh? Saya pernah hantar surat ke Lender. Ya, yeah, kita keluar nak cucuk dekat, nak masuk dekat, dia punya mailbox. Uh-huh. Sekali dia punya gate terbuka, anjing, anjing keluar. <laughs> Ayuh kerja. Dia tu ya. Saya lari pusing motor je. Uh-huh. Motor saya pusing. Anjing tu pun ikut pusing. Yang geram dia apa? Dia punya dan uh, neighborhood semua tengok je. Oh. Lepas tu ketawa. Asyik <laughs> baik ketawa dia tak ambil video. Oh. Ha. Lepas tu pergi hantar rumah dia dia tanya. Dia nampak kita uh, saya kena kerja anjing pusing motor. Pergi hantar sudak kat dia, dia tanya, are you exercise? Hmm. <laughs> oh, but eventually he help you lah. No. Di- no. <laughs> Man, how the donkey chasing? Owner, owner oh. datang, ambil lah. Oh. <laughs> but that abang, 40 years ah in Singapore ah. Some, <laughs> uh, I got one that time, uh, I do landed lah. 
Hmm. Okay, the owner offer me uh, their fruits lah, macam hmm. rambutan, santan, oh. uh, you know, any fruits that they they give lah. They never ask, they, uh, ask me ask me to go in lah. Sometimes ask me to pluck myself lah. <laughs> uh, sometimes oh. they ready for me. Wow. Yeah. Some they offer uh, anything lah. They want to give like drinks, biscuits. Uh, Appreciate. I think they are glad lah. Like, like what you said just now, they are very happy when they got letters. <laughs> uh, even though bill, bill also. Uh, for them, bill why they they they, they need because bill is their information. They need to pay. Mm-hmm. So they know uh, how much you got to pay for this month. Mm-hmm. So it's it's important for them lah. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, some yeah. some that, that's a sum lah. Some of the things that I can remember lah. Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, in regards to bill, I think for us we can go at the app lah. But the <laughs> older folks, uh, they may still rely on letters. Lah. Yeah, true, true, uh. true. I mean, uh, I being part of the older folks, <laughs> I prefer to have. You're not that old. Come on. I prefer to have my bills in printed yeah, form, you know. It's a, it's a sentimental lah. Uh, it just feels different lah. Uh, yeah. Just just hold the paper ah. Uh. I need to pay this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to pay. There's so many many memories uh, of uh, yeah. sing posts from the, the days of the olden times until mm. today. There's so many uh, progression in the postal services ah. Uh. Mm, yes. Now if you all you know last time right Vespa and then now electric bike already. Uh, wow, uh, dah maju <laughs> ah. Congratulations once again 165 years. Wow, that's a very long time ah. Uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 eh. <laughs> like something yeah. that you don't really, you know, like you just pass by. Hmm. And you don't uh, think about but yeah. it's there. You know just now we were given a tour of the distribution base ah. Uh. Yeah. Wow, the operations is like amazing. Yeah, it's yeah. very fast paced actually. It's chaotic, uh, but it's organized chaos. You try to recall, you know, the in the olden days during B- British colonial times, mm. the general post office, uh, which is now Fullerton, Fullerton. Hotel, mm. right, that is the center for mail distribution. And then the distance, the places in Singapore are named after the distance Oh, batu. Oh, uh, for, example, for example, for uh. example, like uh, Junction 8, 10 mile uh, junction. 10 mile junction, yeah. It's According to the route map, it's 10 miles from the general post office. So that's why it is called 10 mile junction. So in the olden days, people call, kat mana? Batu 10. Yes. Oh, then they know where is it. Uh, so, Batu Jadi 8. Abang remember lah. Mr. Antan, they call it Batu 6. Ah. Uh, Batu 6 is actually at the uh, 6th Avenue. Ah, 6th oh. Avenue. Avenue. We've come to the end of the video podcast. Uh, so, thank you so much yeah. for coming out once again. And any last words? Final words? Thank you, you guys. Uh, you also, uh, <laughs> you know, come here to uh, interview us, talk to us. Uh-huh. Uh, something like people might know uh, further about postman lah mm-hmm. and what are they doing maybe not been told before mm-hmm. so right now you're doing this so to make people more lah uh, know about how we are doing mm-hmm. as a postman appreciate you guys so Razi you have any last words to say uh, ada apa-apa kata-kata terakhir sebelum kita itu terkira eh and leash your dog susu lah guys seriously ah. yeah. and we'll see you guys in the next one <laughs> <laughs>